as soon as I... Okay, whatever. Okay, come on. Oh, I can't move it. Oh, because I pushed that. So that's one thing that's bad about doing the um, B, L, and A, L. Um, even though it makes it quicker to... Um, to whatchamacallit. To raise and lower land. You don't want to use it all the time. Because sometimes you need the mana. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. So I'm getting a little bit more castles. And you notice my my um, mana bar is going up a little bit quicker than uh, usual. Hold on, hold on. Get get up, get, 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 get. Uh, no. Okay, there we go. All right. So anyways, guys, I'm sorry if this uh, is a little bit boring, but it is a guide. I'm just trying to show you guys how to do this. All right, so I have a couple castles. Um, what you can do now, since now I'm getting some good mana flow going, um, I can start making some good land. So right when uh, my people decide they're going to move, they can. Also, one thing, you, in order to use your magic to raise up and down um, your land, you have to have a blue flag, as you can see on the bottom uh, right-hand screen. You see the blue flag? That lets me do my uh, mana, good my good magic uh, in the zone. You can't just um, use up and down wherever you want. You have to either use a knight or your castles that have flags. So with that said, let's go make some new things. Come on, move. Move, people, move. There we go. Move this. There we go. There we go. So with that said, I'm actually making this a little bit easier to um, get more mana. The more I do this, the more um, mana I'm going to yield. And that's what you're trying to go for. You're trying to go for that. Come on. You're trying to go for the uh, getting a lot of mana. So you'll see like on the mana bar up top. Let me pause it real quick. So you see on the mana bar, you see the up and down. That's to raise up and down land. So when the arrow gets to the little crossing, you can set up a cross, which we'll get to and make a leader, which we already have right now. But you can make more leaders as you make knights. Uh, the sound thing, uh, sound looking shock thing is for uh, earthquakes. Uh, that little sand thing is for quicksand or swamps. So you can actually um, put that around your enemy's base and that will screw them up. Um, also, the little spear and helmet thing is to make a knight. So you have to have that much mana to make a knight. Which looks like it's going to take forever to get to, but it doesn't after you get this thing flowing. Um, and then you have the volcano, flood, and then you have the uh, death, the end of an all things, the Armageddon thing, I guess. is the, I guess I should say Armageddon. So anyways, moving on, moving on. Alright, come on, baby. Oh, see, now they just uh, earthquaked me, which is alright, it's not a big deal. Um, just, just build up again, it's not a big deal, guys. Um, when they do that, the computer will do that a lot. It's not that hard. The ones you got to watch out for is Volcano. And um, from what I've been reading, it's best just to um, to just let the um, Volcano stay there and use an Earthquake on it. From what I've been... Uh, what, I've, what I've seen. Alright, so, as you can tell, it looks like um, on the, the top screen with the shield... It shows my person that I have selected, but as you can tell, it looks like Red might have a little bit more civilization than I do, which is alright, it's not a big deal. We can uh, fix that, it's not a big deal, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. Yes, okay, so, come on people. There we go, there we go, let's make some more, let's make some more, here we go, there we go. Yeah. So, um, one thing to note too, having it on the first level, there's a chance that the NPC will um, flood you. I'm not too worried about it because I'm just going to, I'm going to rock store this guy. I played this game enough where I know how to play it. So I'm not worried about what he's going to do. I'm really not. Alright, so now I have an earthquake. So I'm going to use the same thing that he used on me, on his castles. You want to use this thing on castles. You don't want to just use it on anything. That way, he loses a lot of uh, mana, and not only that, he's going to have to replace his um, his uh, land. So it's going to eat up some of his mana. Um, so, oops, I didn't want to do that. All right, get down. There we go. 
So having a mixture of both castles and also different types of houses is not a bad thing. You don't have to do all castles because it seems people move more often without a bajillion castles, you know, in your civilization. But at the same time, though, having a lot of castles will help your mana flow. Um, so you you kind of do want have a, you do want to have a, a a good surplus of castles. As you can tell, I'm already have enough for another uh, earthquake. So I mean. Like I'm saying, you guys, it's not a um, a, a big deal. Um, like I said, you could use a lot of mana. I'm going to probably use another earthquake to make him waste more mana trying to fix his civilization because the, the NPCs in this game are very anal with their land. So when you're playing with the NPC on your side, they're very anal and they will... Um, they will... I, I don't even know how to describe it. They will try to flatten everything to a certain level and if they screw up they'll they'll do the lowest land part so like say they're on level two for a little bit and they make one civilization on a second level what they'll do is they'll go back for every second level they did and re-level it so the the computer is really uh anal retentive on its land so by messing it up you're kind of um screwing the npc so you, they, I've read that you know don't worry too much about earthquake and stuff like that. But from my experience, it seems like they um, they have a, like they have a fit with the um, you messing with their land. So I would say do that more often. Um, I know probably a couple people are going to argue with that, but I find it to be very useful. All right, so I think I'm getting pretty much there to the point where I can start making a knight. Yeah, I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to start making a knight. So you can do this for a very long time. So if you want, um, like I said, you want your, you know, you, you want to kill them with, you know, flood or whatever. Um, take your time, build up your civilization. I'm going to use a, another, another, uh, earthquake. Well, I'm going to actually use two more before I start making a knight. There we go. So, and see, he used a freaking volcano thing on me, which is fine. I can level it back down. It's not a big deal. As you can tell, see, it's not a big deal. So, I mean, he'll, they'll do stuff. Don't panic when they do it. It, you know, once you get to the point where you start massacring him, you don't have to worry about him doing evil spells, and you don't have to worry about fixing up your land like I'm doing right now. All right get rid of that and to get rid of those um i have a problem with getting rid of those stupid um rocks so what i do is i just like bring it down to the 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 water max and usually it gets rid of it so if you can't get rid of it and he just used another freaking thing on me all right dude it's on it's on all right so we're gonna put that right here yeah so put some swamps over there it screws up their land there we go and it'll make weird noise, like, like a, they're slurping something from a Slurpee. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. So, now I'm getting my land back to fixed. We're going to put an arcane, or whatever you want to call it, the cross. I think it's called an uh, arcane. I don't remember. So, sorry if I'm butchering the, uh, the uh, arcane or whatever it's called. All right, so we got that fixed. We got some of the mountains out of the way. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna, since I have a pretty good solid uh, base, I'm gonna actually put the cross, as you can tell, and I just set it down on the map. So it's now on the map. You see how it's across where the little square is? I'm gonna tell my people to go to that cross. So for whatever reason, my leader's not coming out. We're gonna make him come out. We're forcing him out. 